Hi and welcome again to Tech It Out. Quite some time ago now I brought you a tweak for USB microphones to boost the input. This time I'm going to bring you a little tweak that helps boost programs or games or other applications you may be running. Now it's quite a well-known tweak but this one comes with a little twist in the end. Normally when you set the priority of a program, that is how much of the system resources are allocated to that program, you can set it in the task manager, but then when it comes to restarting the program or the system, that setting will revert to its former setting, that is usually normal or below normal. This tweak makes that setting permanent for you. So we're going to run through a few benchmarks first of all to show you just how much of an increase in performance the tweak can make. First of all though I've got to say that this is more of a CPU based tweak and it doesn't gain so much performance on GPU based benchmarks. But these are the benchmarks I have so I'm going to run them first and the first of these is Firestrike. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the benchmark without the tweak and see what the score is and then I'll run it again a second time with the tweak and we look at the score as well. At some points I will speed up the video just to make it a little less boring and you sit in and having to watch through the same video over and over again. This is Firestrike on its first run. I've cut through some of the demo itself and the benchmark and we're just coming to the end of the benchmark now and we'll see what the score is at the end. By the way, I've taken out the audio on this because I'm not sure just exactly what the situation with copyright is. So here we have the final benchmark then, 9942 without the tweak. So we're going to run it again now, this time with the tweak. And again I'll cut through most of it and we'll go near enough to the end. Now remember the former benchmark was in the high 9900s. And this time the score is 10298. So that's nearly 300 points higher. The second benchmark is one of my favourite benchmarks because I just simply love watching it and listening to the music. I can watch it for hours I think. It would make a fantastic screensaver if ever anyone ever made one. So we're going to run through again cutting out a lot of the benchmark because you would want to sit through all of it. And we have a final score then of 2439 with a 58.3 FPS average. The maximum being 110.1. And this now is the second run. I've included a little bit more in this just to show you the most taxing part of the benchmark itself. These sweeping shots are absolutely beautiful. So we're coming again to the end of the benchmark. And the final score. So now you see the FPS has gone up to 60.9 with a final score of 2547 and a maximum FPS of 117.4. So 
So quite a, quite a difference there. Now we move on to a more CPU based benchmark. This is Cinebench. So again, I'll run it first of all at normal speed, then I'll speed up the second part of the benchmark. So it doesn't take quite so long and bore us all to tears. So this first benchmark is on the CPU. Of course, this benchmark is for photographic or videographic work. So again, we are coming now again to the end of the benchmark. And we'll find out the final score. And the final score this time is 604, 604. So we'll run the GPU test. As I said, it's not really a GPU tweak, but we'll run the test anyway, just to see how it performs with the tweak and without the tweak. Remember, this first one is without the tweak. And off they go. So again, we come into the end of this part of the benchmark. And we have a final score which is this time 96.02 frames per second. So we'll run the second one again. I'll speed it up this time so it gets through it quickly and we can get to the score. So the CPU test first. And we have a final score of 882, which again is quite a lot higher than the original score without the tweak. Again, we run the GPU bench test. And this brings us a final score with the tweak of 97.96. Not a great deal of gain, but I wasn't expecting anything. So how do we do this? How do we actually tweak the program so that it runs faster? Well, first of all, you actually have to tweak the program itself and not the launcher. So we have to start the benchmark running, and then I'll minimize it. Then we'll go into the task manager. So I'll just pop that up. And as you can see, there are two instances here of the benchmark. We don't want the browser, which is this. We want the engine, which is the benchmark itself. Right click on it, go to details, click on that. That will take us to the actual benchmark, the Valley EXC. Right click on it and set priority. This allocates the resources. As you can see, it's at normal at the moment. So if we set it to high, it'll go to high. But if this program is restarted or the system is restarted, it will revert to normal. It won't stay there. So it's not a lot of use really, because we have to do it every time. Now, if you're doing this on a program, of course, or a game, you have to actually do it on the program or game itself. So if you're running Steam, you don't tweak Steam, you tweak the game that you start from Steam. Just as I'm tweaking the benchmark rather than actual menu. 
But this is the little program that we found to help you set the priority permanently. Again, we can go and find the benchmark itself. There's the browser, and there is the benchmark. Right click on it, and we'll get a similar menu process priority. And again, we can see it's at normal, and we can set it to high. Click on high, and now it's set to high. But if we right click again and go into the same menu, we have this little checkbox here permanent. And it's when we click this that that setting becomes permanent. This little program loads and runs on startup. And whenever you start this program in future, it will have that new high priority. It'll be permanently assigned to it. And this little program doesn't actually use a lot of resources either, very, very little system resources. And it just runs in the system tray uh, where you saw me start it from. It is quite a powerful program, and there are one of the two things you shouldn't do, one of which is set the priority to real time, as this can cause all sorts of problems. The other thing I wouldn't do is mess about with any of the Windows system files, reassigning their priorities, only games or programs and apps. Otherwise, you may end up with a system that just won't boot or will not run properly. I have to say, if you do use this, of course, as always, it's at your own risk. I can't take responsibility for any mistakes you may make. This is only a, a guide to how I have done it, not a guide to how you should do it. But anyone with a bit of system knowledge will understand how this works. So I'll just close it now. And as you can see, it says it's going to go back to the applet in the system tray, where we can start it again in future. I'll put a link in the description below to this and again i hope this is useful to you thank you for watching